Today's conference on property rights is part of an emotionally charged political debate that will define South Africa's ability to become a better country. We want to look at ways and meanings of extending property rights to all South Africans. If handled properly and correctly, land reform could be the most positive development since 1994. But it's also a recognition of your fundamental human rights. Property rights are human rights after all. And this essentially is what this conference is discussing today. How to promote property rights, but also how to defend property rights against malicious actors. Everybody needs to work together in one single united direction in legislative policy that is cohesive so that we can achieve the goals. And from a farmer's perspective, how must we make sure that the threats to property rights do not also become a threat to food security? So the important thing about the consultations is that people will tell you what they want to do with their land. So they're going to look at it as potential. And that potential can only be changed with property rights because property rights is basically a document that allows you to reach your potential. The point here is that extinction of domain may be a dangerous legal tool because any property whose origins cannot be explained by its owner can be subject to expropriation. It will also allow the government to expropriate land at times for no compensation, for no money at all in return. And this is likely to have very negative consequences for all South Africans. And remember there are many different kinds of expropriation. I believe that inflation will become a significant problem in South Africa. That is a form of expropriation. Uh, I also believe that taxes is a form of expropriation. I think we're going to see more of that as well because the fiscal accounts have become completely and totally unsustainable. It's a very important topic because I strongly believe that for economies to thrive, to grow, to be competitive, to make an impact, a positive impact for their people, they have to be centered around property rights. And it's very important that the property rights are protected by the frameworks and the laws that are being put together by the government.